Okay, I just wanted to add a little uh, wrap up basically to this section where we're doing the kind of end game screen. Um, partly because I realized a couple of things. Obviously, at the moment, you know, when you complete the game, let's say if I don't die, I get um, a final score there and time remaining. Um, admittedly, you, you can already see that, obviously, because it's part of the main HUD anyway at the top of the screen. Coins one, time remaining. It's just re repeated. Um, so maybe that didn't get the point across maybe as well as it could. Because the point is, if you did have, which m most people probably would, um, an image as um, your kind of background image, um, on here, okay, uh, let's change the text, so uh, this is all going to be white so you can't see it, let's change it to whatever, red will be fine, so we can see this stuff. Okay, so if you had your image in the background there, which mine is just white, then obviously then you're not going to see the main HUD there at all. So just to represent that, if you go and collect some points, finish the game, tap if I anchored it, anchor that full screen. Um, <clears throat> You got to the end, so your yeah, your win screen would come up like this. You wouldn't see the main HUD anymore, and then you just get your final results displayed. Okay, um, so that's what we've done at the moment. But then you know, if this was in your game, right? What what do you do now? You, it's just you can't click anything. You're just kind of stuck um, in the window. So we might want to put a button on there. Okay, so we'll do that. So if you go to end game widget. Um, we've added buttons already when we made the menu, so they should be kind of familiar. I'm just going to add in a button. Again, visually it's not going to look very impressive, but you can make yours look a lot better. Um, anchor it before I forget to the side. <clears throat> um, I don't want to change any of the style or anything. Obviously, you guys can do whatever you need to do. Make a button that actually says something. What I'm going to do is make it a button that um, just, just quits the game. Or we can do a, a retry one. So first of all, if you just so on click, um, just going to make one that quits the game, which is the easiest thing ever. So just quit game, and then compile. Okay, so try that. Complete the game. Okay, but then all of a sudden we've got another issue because we can't use the mouse. Okay, the mouse cursor is gone, so we can't now go and click on um, that button there. So what do we do? Um, let's go back to the end game blueprint. So we've got all this where it sets up and it shows the, the widget, put a little delay on, pauses the game. What we want to do now is show the cursor. Um, which I need to remember which one it is. Um, let's see if I can remember without having to okay, bear me a second. just need to remember which one that is. Okay, uh, a bit of remembering later, um, and we know what to do. So, um, yeah, where we had our um, widget where it pauses the game, over here, don't drag out from there, you just, what you need to get is the player controller. So get the player controller. Okay, from that, there's already an inbuilt variable called um, show mouse cursor. So you want to set show mouse cursor. Okay, that's the one we were looking for. Um, and you can hook that up to 
show after the game is paused. Okay, and then tick the box that says show the mouse cursor. Okay, hit compile. Um, I go over to my end game widget. What I did is I just changed the tint um, on that background. Um, it's horrible. Um, to like a greeny color, just so I can to see the, the cursor against it a bit better. So we've got our quit button there. Um, should we put some text over it? Why not? Quit. Okay. Make it black. So we know what it is. Compile that. So, okay, now if we run over and um, we finish our game, you can see our mouse cursor shows up. Okay, so we can actually go and click on any buttons that we've got. So, quit game. We'll just quit it. Obviously, it takes us back to the editor because we're in, not in the executable of the game. But if we wanted also, you might want to, you might not want to quit, you might want to retry. So, if we put in another button. Mm -hmm. uh, which will be our retry button, so when we click it, it's actually going to open the level, which is, I think it's called level one, I think I called it that, <laughs> whatever your main, whatever your level is called that you want to, your first level is called. Um, let's push that. Let's try that. So I push that and it takes me back to yeah to the game again. So it's just neaten that up. <clears throat> like that. Retry. Okay. It's not very pretty, <laughs> um, but you know, it's about functionality here. You can make it look nice. So that should be it now, really. Um, so we can collect points. We can do what we want to do within your level, wherever you want to build it. And then when you get to the end, um, you've got a final score, a time remaining, quit button or retry button. Um, and it's just off center because I forgot to anchor it again. Okay. Okay, so just wanted to wrap up with making sure you had something that was fully functional, um, which we do have now. Okay. And that hopefully <laughs> should be, should be that. All right.